What up, YouTube dudes? What's going on, y'all, man? We got a Reacher. That's right. This is a Jack Reacher novel turned into TV. Now, they did the movies with Tom Cruise, and I liked them. I honestly did. Now, honestly, um, the dude... I mean, Tom Cruise honestly didn't like, he didn't look like the guy that Richard was described in the books. And that was my only uh, problem with the movie, is that Tom Cruise didn't look the part as much as this guy does. That being said, man, Tom Cruise, I thought, did a good job as far as the acting goes. So, I had no problem with his uh, acting in the movie. I just thought he didn't look the part. That's the only thing I had a problem with it. So, I'm, but I'm excited about this TV show, though. Simply because of the fan of the books. Now, I have not read all of them. I've read like three of them. You know, I read this one that it's based on. I read, actually, I own this one. I own the book that this is based on. So, I'm, I'm interested to see how it, how it uh, transforms into a book. From book to the TV show. You know? Let's see. Let's see. If you enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button. Hit the playlist. Check out other videos and TV shows that I've done. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of like how the book started, actually. If this is... I know who this is. If it's if they're going by the book, man, I know exactly who that is. It's it B. I think this is actually the first book in the series. I mean, don't quote me on that. <clears throat> but I think it was. I was also a little nervous. The preview made it look the preview made it look a little bit more humorous than I would like the show to be. But how am I supposed to get ahead when you're wasting my goddamn money? Get your ass in the van. The hell you want, asshole? I'm talking to you, stupid. Beat his ass. I hate woman beaters, man. They're the worst. Listen, man. I'm just having a bad day. Won't happen again. Damn. Coffee, black, and peach pie. Best you gonna find <laughs> Punked your ass with a look. That's a big ass dude, though, man. I don't know if I would have talked shit to that dude either. Yeah, they're there for you, buddy. They're there for you. He knows it. Like, fuck. Police! Police! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! No. Slide out from behind that booth, nice and slow. Do it now! Slow! Heads? Why are you guys that? I hate cops. Head behind your hip. Like, why are you guys so scared, behind man? He ain't got no gun. Interlock your fingers! Interlock your fingers! Turn around. Face your window! The fuck you so scared for? Lizard's gonna have to wait. You're under arrest. For murder. Come on. You can move faster than that. Sir? If you step over here, I can process you. I'm not asking, sir. I'm telling. But don't worry, I won't kick your ass unless you make me. You ain't gonna kick shit. Oh my god. I'll be doing your <laughs> I can't not stand what is your name? that type of shit. Like, awesome. Don't be, don't try so hard. You ain't gonna kick my ass, That's little lady. Morning, Mr. Reacher, I'm Chief Detective Oscar Finley. 
I'll be asking you some questions. I was informed you were read your rights, so you know you don't have to answer. I don't like that guy. Body was Talking to you like a little punk. I've done <laughs> Partially covered by flat and out cardboard boxes. Two 9mm, 95 grain, close range shots to the back of the head. No casings found. That he ain't said a word yet. Big guy. He's a G for that. He was beaten badly post mortem. No ID yet. Problem getting prints off the body's swollen fingertips. You know who this man was? How he wound up dead? Anything you want to share besides your riveting company? Okay then, well. Come on, man. Say something. The rest of my afternoon. Maybe your court-appointed attorney will get you to open up. I don't need a lawyer. He speaks when he wants to. And why don't you need a lawyer? Because I didn't kill anybody. At least not recently. And not in this town. This is kind of impossible. What's that? This Reacher fellow. So far, run on his prints has been clean, but something could still turn up. But there's no Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, no driver's license, mortgage insurance claims, no online profile at all. The only proof Jack Reacher exists is the fact that he's sitting in that room. Jack Reacher, parents deceased. One brother Joe older by two years. Retired Army. Commanded the 110th Special Investigations Unit of the Military Police. Took out a few men in the course of your duties. All rude good kills. What if I'm thinking I'm sitting across from a man who doesn't mind killing and who has the knowledge and training to murder someone and cover it up? You'd be right. But not this murder. Three men dropped this body. Lightning. Shooter was someone who knows firearms well. Bullets were small caliber, 9mm, 95 grain, that's subsonic. A silencer was used. He also knew enough to pick up his brass. This wasn't a first timer. This was someone who knew how to conduct a quiet, effective kill. Okay, go on. You're also looking for a psycho who'd beat up a body post-mortem. Someone completely unhinged. Totally different profile from your professional shooter. Something wrong? No. You said there were three. Your psycho isn't suddenly going to be rational enough to know he has to hide the body, and your meticulous shooter isn't going to do a sloppy job with roadside cardboard. But the third guy's so worried about getting out of there, he grabs some nearby debris and just lays it across the corpse. You said the victim was big, so most likely his feet were sticking out, and that's how he got spotted. Tall people never have enough room for their feet. Interesting theory. But you still match the description of someone Damn. seen walking the highway earlier today near where the body was found. Well, that's because it was me. I got off the bus from Tampa and walked to town. Greyhound doesn't have a stop in Margrave. I never said it did. You just said you got off in Margrave. I asked the driver to do me a favor. Why? On account of Blind Blink. Okay, who's that? Blue Singer. Legend has it he died in Margrave a long time ago. I figured I'd learn a bit about him. I like music. So you have no home, no phone. You get on a bus in Tampa with $212, a toothbrush, and a French war medal, and travel over 500 miles to read up on a dead blues musician. That sum up your past 24 hours. No. I also went to a diner, ordered peach pie, and never got to eat it because I was arrested for murder. Okay. Get the boss cutter. That's okay. I got it. You guys recycle. You have a confession. I helped with the investigation. You helped me. You seem to be confused about your role in this situation. You are my detainee <laughs> and suspect, not my partner or my equal. And you're certainly not by employment, appearance, or lifestyle choice a cop anymore. Now, Chief Morrison wants you in custody till we know for sure that all six foot four of you was on that bus from Tampa. Six foot five. In an investigation, details matter. Here's the detail for you. We keep extra large cuffs in our lockbox. <sighs> See? Nah. I'm not going for that. They're gonna have to put me in there. Inventory is watching the ring. 
He'll steal him first five minutes he's in there. It was nice talking to you. If you boys knew what's about to happen to you, you'd leave now. So I'll give you to the count of three. One. Jesus. I would run. Oh my. Listen to me. I don't give a fuck. I would run. If I see Tim take down three dudes like that, boom, bam, bam, and I would, I would run. I would not fucking call me a bitch or whatever you want to say. I would run. <laughs> I guess I'm a bitch. <laughs> Look, like this guy that's behind him, he could have ran. Figured a guy with no money, ID, or car could use lift. Fuck that. That's me. Greyhound confirmed that's their Tampa station two nights ago. Yeah, why are everybody looking at him like that? You see that shit? They like, they feel like he's a, he's a, I don't want to say this shit, but man, they're looking at him strange, man. Like, he don't belong. But what's wrong with him, though? He looks like he belongs. I mean, you all know what I'm saying, man. Why are they looking at the man like that? My alibi clear. Just because we know you weren't here when these bodies dropped doesn't mean you might not have something to do with them. Man, fuck you. So I'm wondering if maybe it was some other six foot five gorilla on that grainy gray out tape. Maybe I need to bring in a forensic expert to confirm it was you. And maybe you need to cool your heels back at Warburton while we get that done over the next two or three weeks. Or you get in the car and we go to the morgue. Perhaps the medical examiner will say something that jars your memory about Hubble and you can share it with me. First you make it clear I'm not a cop anymore. Now you want my help. I want you to do what I say. Now. First victim was allergic to latex. Killers must have worn some kind of polyvinyl protective suit to keep blood DNA off themselves. The victim grabbed in the struggle, causing his fingertips to swell in a histaminic reaction. His dental works off because he had his teeth fixed wherever he was living at the time. Broke his right arm when he was eight, had it set in Berlin. Mm. Had his tonsils taken out at ten in Seoul. the stove didn't know my mother had just turned it off that's how my brother got this scar you tell me right now what's going on what was your brother doing in Margrave I don't know. So it's just a coincidence you and he are passing through the exact same Podunk town at the exact same moment in time. I don't know. When's the last time you saw Joe? A minute ago in the morgue. You being smart with me? I'm being straight with you. Hell, no wonder Sharon left you. You keep my wife's name out of your mouth. No, enough, Richard. Just thinking maybe my brother told me about Blind Blake for a reason. Thinking about him lying in that morgue. Thinking I'm supposed to do something about it. Like what? I guess I'll find everybody responsible. 
and kill every last one of them. All right, I'm Jack Reacher. You guys can be the other little cop guy, the short dude. But <laughs> All right, man. Uh, should we watch the next one? We about to watch the next one. Not today, though. Should we watch it right now, though? I could watch both of them. No, next time. Like, comment, subscribe.